Earlier this year, Google showed off a prototype of a whole new software platform designed for headsets and smart glasses called Android XR. And based off of the demos and the data we had on this, it does look really solid. Google is promising compatibility with just regular Android apps. You also have the ability to toss up huge full screen windows to watch YouTube videos, Netflix, and of course, Gemini has a very prominent role in this operating system. Now, unfortunately, this was just a preview at Google I.O., and thus no product was actually launched. But it seems like now, finally in September, we're getting the first hints at a product coming to market featuring this new operating system. So in this video, we're going to be going over this news and exactly what you can expect from this very first pair of Android XR powered Google smart glasses. Now, some of you guys might remember that Google has actually been experimenting with some type of smart glasses for over 10 years now, with the original Google glasses focusing on uh, really just having a small heads up display for things like navigation, notifications, and other similar minor tasks. But this product category historically never had any real success. The functionality was always pretty limited, the hardware wasn't super good, and the price was very difficult to justify. But it seems like this is beginning to change, with companies like Meta really taking the lead here when it comes to modern smart glasses. And the approach that Meta took here is to make the glasses look as regular as possible, while giving a ton more functionality. So instead of just notifications, navigation, these things run full applications. And of course they have heavy AI integration, which may prove to be the missing link as to why smart glasses never really took off before this. And it seems like Google is adopting a similar approach when it comes to this new generation of smart glasses powered by Android RX. According to the demo, this is a much more capable platform with a full array of Android apps, we're talking TikTok, YouTube, you know, real applications, kind of similar to the Apple Vision Pro headset based off of the demos I've seen so far. And of course, we have the heavy AI integration. And I think this is going to be a huge selling point of all future smart glasses. It's been pretty shocking how quickly a lot of us have been adopting AI over just the past two, three years. I know personally, I always upload images, photos, screenshots in order to assist me with my daily activities. And having the AI assistant built into these glasses with access to a camera that can see what you see, that really seems like a complete game changer to me and something that really adds value to this product in comparison to only having a smartphone. Now, when it comes to the hardware, Again, the goal here is to make these as minimal as possible. And it looks like Google is using HTC to actually manufacture these devices. And when it comes to availability, the, the window here appears to be either late 2025 or early 2026. But I do want to remind you guys that these are just the, the first party Google smart glasses, which are kind of reminiscent of the Google Pixel smartphone, which is just one of many Android phones. And on this point, it appears that Samsung is working on their own Android RX powered smart glasses, which could be released even sooner, potentially around late September. And we would expect these glasses to be very similar in terms of hardware and software, but with a few added tweaks by Samsung, again, similar to what they do with their phones. But that's the latest information we have as of right now. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate a like, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.